Is that the right flipping bushes? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on our little mini digger, uh, Pell Job EB12, uh, a ratter, <laughs> but it all runs and stuff. Um, last video, I tried to get a few jobs in, didn't get on very well, to be fair. That's the way it goes. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to go back to my more normal format of doing smaller jobs and shorter videos because I, I had to borrow someone else's internet to get that to upload because it was 40 something minutes and mine just wouldn't do it so I, I'm gonna we're gonna hopefully stick to a shorter videos and probably more of them so they're more manageable just for me not for you sorry but just for me <laughs> anyway today I think what we're going to be looking at is, I mean, we've got a lot to do. I've got a wiring diagram. Uh, yeah, thanks to you guys for the suggestions and stuff. I do have a wiring diagram. It's in, it's in my box of, in my box of bits here somewhere. That's it. I think this might be it. Uh, it could be. Yeah, what's that? That's the shut-off system, and this is. The wiring dog, I hope you can see it, it's okay, it's a bit dimpsy. But to, anyway, it gives me an idea, it hasn't got any colours on it, which is which is a shame, because for a clanky, you know, I'm a very visual person, the colours would be handy. So but I will have a look. I think I think the first thing I'm gonna do really is I don't know what I'm talking about. We're not doing we're not doing electrics today because I haven't got the, the, the loom tape and stuff to do the repairs. So I've ordered it, hopefully it'll be here soon. But anyway, I'll tell you what, we we could take this panel off. We've got the lights for engine temperature, pressure, and oil. And what did I say? Engine temperature, charge, and oil pressure. So these are the warning lights uh, that come from the sensors in the old engine bay. Hang on, let's lift this up. Oh! God, that looks heavy. So yeah, uh, we've got the sensors in there. Thanks for you guys. Uh, you can't see. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Get torch quickly. Sorry to apologise. Didn't plan this very well, did I? But yes, on the old fuel pump, there's a there is a, a mechanical shutdown on there. So I could I could put something on that, spring a cable on that, or I don't know if there's a way of doing it between these two instead of just using electronic. That one, it, by looking at the wiring diagram and my very limited knowledge of wiring, that one. Is it like an auto shutdown if the temperature goes too high from the little uh, from the sensor in there, or the oil pressure goes too low from that one? Um, I will have to repair that, but I think that's what that one's for. It's for emergency shutdown. But anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Waffling already three minutes, flipping heck. Anyway, today, what I want to look at is um, this mess here. I'll give it a wiggle you can see that we've got slack in in the hundreds there um, oh is that bent that might be a little bit twisted that way but yeah as you can see it's got the wrong pins in because they're more or less flush and, and that one's stuck and way out there I mean, the bucket's wrong. If you look, we shouldn't have this gap here. But I mean, ultimately, it's a really handy bucket to have. So um, I, I think temporarily, we're going to shim this out. We've got other buckets. Oh, I am on ricochet mode today, and I squirrel. So anyway, here's the buckets that came with it. Um, and you can see they're, they're a lot narrower on that sort of gap there whether they're right or not i don't know it's weird that they're not the same either side i don't know see those look the same either side i don't know if that's a standard thing and the teeth are loose as well that one so i've got to do something with that again i am learning i've never owned one of these i've hired one but i never had to do anything so hopefully you'll learn with me and if i make any mistakes 
if you've got to do the job, hopefully you won't, you won't make the mistakes. So yes, bucket pins. Just while I'm looking, I noticed we do have a bit of a weep on here. There is pressure on it, obviously. So it doesn't leak loads, but so we've got a, a seal gone there. But really and truly, you know, it's not a leaky machine. It's not, that's just the pad there. It's been sat here. You know, there's not a lot of wet on the floor. That's actually a stain, that's not wet. But yeah, there we go. And while we talk, while we're, bleh, bleh, while we're wandering around the, the undercarriage and stuff, advice from you guys. Can I turn these tracks round and swap them side to side so I get the damaged bits on the inside? It might let, make them last a bit longer and protect them. That's a question for you. You guys are in the know. Can I swap them side to side? Just, you know, just to protect them a bit. Anyway, back to this. Yes, I want to do something about this sloppiness. And what I have done, that's some pins that came with it. I bought a pin and bush kit. So it's the bucket pin and bush kit. Let's unwrap one of these quickly. Sorry, I don't want to waste your time. But, there we go. So this is, must be some sort of hardened steel, I guess. And... Can you see those in the middle there? There's grooves that allow the grease to go in and lubricate the bushes. And I think some of these bushes don't have grooves all the way to the end. I don't know if any of these don't, but this type of bush. So it sort of doesn't spew grease out everywhere. Anyway, we've got a pair of pins and these should be this correct length. If anything, they're the same as what's on there. Is there another? Oh, well, perhaps I didn't get the right bushes then. We shall see. But yeah, I might have to put some spacers on that as well. But anyway, this is the kit I got. Got it online. Can't remember who I got it off of, sorry. I've probably got a receipt in there somewhere. But yeah, so I've got some bushes. Let's slip on there. Oh, lovely. And, uh, I can't remember what these are called now, these little clips are going. And these, I've got a pack of these as well, another pack of them. They're cheaper than getting um, split pins. That goes through there. Very hard one-handed. Well, that's a bit sloppy as well, isn't it? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, the bushes were... are worn. You know, it is floppy as hell. You can see that pin moving around in that one, look. So I reckon first thing to do so we get that bucket off, which is just a case of knocking out this very long pin, which hasn't got any retainers on it at all. And then I'll lower the boom down onto the floor and we'll take this one out and we'll see what we've got. Let's do that. Do that first. Oh, we're on the bench. Seems pretty firm, so I guess the next thing is to get this lot out. Should, I imagine it would come quite easy. It's going to flop, isn't it? But, this is really a two-handed job. Oh, I think that is a 
bit. Oh, blimey. Yeah, that's not very straight either, is it? I know it's supposed to be a banana shape that way, but I didn't know about that way. And that one's not too bad, is it? All right, so we've got these bushes. It's bushes, this is obviously a pin. They don't look too badly worn, really. But, uh, let's try again, one-handed. Can we do it? Yeah. So what we got? Yes, I'm saying that, that's not, it is, I know it's worn, but that's not as bad as I thought it might be. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that is. <laughs> oh well, let's have a look, see, oh, no, that's not what I expected. Let's get a torch. I expected there to be a gap between the bushes. I don't know if you can see it in there, everyone. What if I put it that side? Um, yeah, I expected to see a big gap between the bushes, and I'll be able to knock them out. Uh, well, it might be. It might be just crud in there, mightn't it? But they, they haven't seen grease for a long time, have they? And the new. The new pens have actually got grease points in them, so that'll send grease to the inside of the bushes. Yeah. I think actually, before we do anything else, where are they gone? Here they are. I should put these in the freezer, just to help us along, don't you? So let's go and do that, and I'll have a bit of a clean out, and we'll see what we can see in there. All right, so we've given it a bit of a clean up with our little wire brushy thingy, and you can see that that's a, a, can you see that? Is that too bright? Hang on, let's try. Try cutting a bit of the light out. You can see it's actually worn into the bore there and not on the top. Can you see that in there? That, that those there, if I move that one up. So now I'm not doing this very well, am I? Hang on, let's try this thing. Is that any better? No. What about doing that? Those don't look too bad. And uh, it's obviously a step in the middle of the of the tube that you push these up against. This one is pretty bad. Uh, those aren't too bad, but that is really bad as well. But that goes onto the bucket. So what greasing that gets, I, I don't really know, especially on that wide bucket over there. Let's try and get off. Um, and looking at the pins, obviously I'm using new pins at the moment. That one is, it's not, it's not brilliant, but it's not horrendous. That one is pretty bad, as is that one. But I've only got four bushes and th that one isn't too bad. See, it's got off play, but I just noticed we've got a pin which is uh, greasable here and that's got two don't know if you can see it can you see those two little dimples a dimple there a dimple there so that obviously greases from those two points which match up with those so even though that's too long oh no it wouldn't be too long because it's got these on the end yeah so that should work is that the, I, I don't know which way around it is now I got confused but anyway those aren't too bad, uh, and we've got the right pin for that by the looks of things. That one's not too bad. Those two are really bad, and this bottom, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to flash you guys. That bottom one there on the ram is pretty slack too. It has got a greasing point at the end. See, I don't know if it works. I might have to take that out. It does look pretty beaten up. But this one is pretty bad too. And then I thought, well, if that one's bad, I wonder what this one's like. And it's not that 
good really is it so um in my head i'm thinking of changing the two in there and maybe that one and that one sorry i didn't point it right there that one because these are all 30 mil pins and they're all 40 mil exterior size of the bush and 40 mil wide whereas those ones there are 30 they're slightly narrower so um yeah i'm not sure i'm guessing so what i think i'll do is i'll try and get these out see how they come out and then maybe go for this uh, and maybe that one we'll see we'll see how these come out first so i'm going to try just a pin punch i really don't think it's going to work i'm going to soak some easing oil in there as well uh, but we'll, we'll have a go we'll, we'll try it with a pin punch See if they come out. There's no step there, but there is a little bit of a step I can get on the top. So I might be able to, if I can get an angle. I should have turned that that way, shouldn't I? We'll have a fiddle. We'll have a fiddle and see if we can get that out anyway. If not, I might have to put a cut in it. But now, let's get set up and see what happens. <laughs> I've just realised I can't use those bushes, even though they're the right dimensions. This type of bush has got uh, just a groove in the middle. Because obviously the uh, grease nipple or hole goes into the groove around the outside of the bush and then there's a little hole in there. See the hole at the bottom? So I got the wrong sort of bushes for that. So we'll get this one out, we'll start with this one and, and see what we think. Because uh, those are the same sort, but we'll see. Well, now the compressor stopped. Hopefully, we can see what we're doing. Oh, why is that going to? Why is that going to stop us seeing? We're going to be able to hear me anyway. Where you are. So I tried taking out one groove, and it wouldn't. I couldn't get enough oomph behind it to chip it out. So I've taken out. Basically, I've cut out two grooves in it, and that's the bit in between. So you can see in there. So that's the walnut. That's the the arm there and that's the remains of the bush so I'm hoping now that I can maybe tap it in a little bit there and then tap it out I don't think I've caught the actual bore much I've caught the lap back a little bit but yeah well I'll set you up again and we'll try and hit it out oh. there she blows we got it, we got it. There. And that ain't bad. Can you see that? I don't know, I've taken hardly anything out of that. Excellent. I have nicked the little bore back there a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I've got to do the other side now though. I don't think I'll put you through the pain of that though. Well, I'm not sure if this will work, but let's see if the YouTube Pixies will do it for us. Thank you, YouTube Pixies. Yes. So yeah, we've got them both out. That one 
come out lovely. All I've done is I've given it a good wire brush with a rotary wire brush inside. And you can see at the back, I have just nicked the center piece. Can you see it? It's not much, but the main step is there. And similar on this side, I got a couple of scratches in there as well with the chisel, but you can see I just did nick it a tiny, can you see the nick? But yeah, so I'm gonna have a tidy up here and then we'll get the bushes out of the freezer and push them in. And here's the bushes we removed as well. So you can see I took out quite a bit on both of them to get them to release and then just a slight chisel there, there and that's the bits that we uh, chopped out. So yeah, jobs are good and I've put a little bit of oil in there. I've got some stud in and we're going to try and put the bushes in. The bushes are still in the freezer so they're nice and chilly and um, I guess I'm going to need two hands. I don't want them to warm up too quick. So I'll stick you on the old tripod and we'll see uh, how we get on putting it in. So we've got our extremely cold bush. So let's chuck it on there and load everything up. Handy dandy Makita on this side. Flipping bushes, or are these just water? These might just be totally and utterly worn out. They do seem to be stuck out a long way, though. That's in. That is in. Right. Let's throw the other in. We're both in. There we go. So look. Oh, ooh, that's nice. There is, I mean, there's bound to be gift, but oh, oh, she's lovely. Ooh, oh, suits you, sir. So anyway, yeah, that's good. So what to next? Um, I'm not going to change that one because they're not that bad. Do I change the ones in this thing? These are going to be as worn, aren't they? So that's... I'm not sure. I don't know at the moment. I think, because I need a machine. I mean, that was the worst one. I think we'll leave it at that now. And if I need to, I've got those other two. They're still in the freezer, actually. I've got the other two bushes. And we can decide which one we want to do. I do want to get some for that as well. I'll find out about them. Uh, but yeah, I suppose we need to see if that takes grease. We'll have a look at that. Uh, can you see? See, there's grease there. Didn't like it much though. So. There's loads coming out here. Yeah. I think a nipple must be on its way out. But it's getting some grease. So that's, oh look at the stare of that. <laughs> so that's something. Well, that sticks out a long way. And I was wondering if I, you know, I mean that stuck out. Turn it on. Five and a bit mil that is. And I was thinking, really, that doesn't look right. And and I was looking at, can you see? I was looking at the bushes and thought, oh, crumbs, have I got the right bushes? And these are, well, they're not the same, actually. That's that's 38.35, sorry, 35.35. And that was 37. So what I think has actually happened is we've worn the edges of these bushes off, or they have been worn off. Um, and it's worn the outside of that off as well. So, I mean, these must be the right bushes. They're 40. Um, and they're listed for this machine. So, I think we've got a lot of wear on this face. Actually, that one's bruised. So, uh, how much, what's the difference? Let's have a look. 
So face to face on that one is 98.3. Face to face on that one is oh, 104.2. So we have got a bit of wear there. As you can see, the bushes stick at a mile where this has worn in so much on both sides. Now, I spoke to a few places, sorry, I'm supposed to point the camera at me, I spoke to a few places and one, well, a couple of them said there isn't any standard measurement for this, for the width. They just make the buckets or whatever to fit. So, I, you know, one person I spoke to said, you don't want the these exposed like they are. You want them slightly in. So I said, well, what if it's a mill? So um, ultimately this is under an eight, face to face, just a tad under, yeah. So I said to the person, what if I made them 110? He said, it doesn't matter, we'll make it to fit, but 110 is a nice measurement. He says he gets that sort of thickness regularly. So uh, all I've done is I've got some big chunky washers. I've ground out the outside so they fit over and I'm gonna weld them on. This side, I'm gonna have to space off slightly to give me the one mil step back or intrusion compared to the face. And this side is actually a little bit on the thin side there. It's sort of 0.8 of a mil there. And, no, 1.2 there and, one, and 0.8 there. So it's not quite right. So I'm gonna grind the back of that off a bit, set it back and then clean this all up, buzz a load of weld around it. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm not gonna do that tonight. One, because it's red hot and two, I haven't got any trousers on and I ain't welding without trousers on because sparks go down in there and it flipping hurts and it ain't safe and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll set up and I'll see you in a bit. You are what eternity later. We're all cleaned up. Now what I'm going to do, because we were fortunate when we cleaned it up, we've gained enough to give us some slack. So all I've done is I've got a bit one mil shim, it's only a bit of alley I'll cut out and then just a big washer over the top and I'm going to put some studding all the way through and as you can see we've got a bit of slack there now so I can do that up tight and I can just space that out and I can splurge well all the way around she's going to be a good one and I can do the same on the other side as well but I'll start on this side and I'll set it all up and hopefully we'll be ready to go right we're set up so we've just got the stud bar through with a washer on that side and a big washer on the spacer in behind. So that's obviously held and we've got a bit of slack there. So all I'm going to do is space it out slightly and then weld away. Let's weld her up.
Whew. Well, that was a bit warm, but it's on there. Some of the welds underneath are rubbish, but uh, I was struggling with the feed a little bit. And we are pretty close if I... Yeah, I'm happy with that, and you? 110 is what we're aiming at. That's pretty good for a rough old digger. Flipping hot though, crikey. Whew, need a drink. You can see how much more worn that bottom was than the top. I mean, the top's still worn, what's that good? Good couple mil there. Probably a bit more there, three mil there. But uh, eventually we're gonna have to do the same on them, but not at the moment, because uh, we need to use this machine. But yeah, not the neatest of welding, but I am pleased with that. That's not going anywhere. Right, that is it for today. Sorry it's so long, supposed to be a short one, was not. Um, I've actually cut out loads of stuff that we've done already just to make it fit in the video. I have started on the banana links, but I'll show you that next time. Um, and that's about it. So yeah, if you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up. Look us up on Instagram, larks underscore workshop. And uh, well, like I say, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Cheers then. Hey, the fairies have been. No, it was the pixies last time. Start that again. What a load of rubbish. What pillock does a load of welding on the hottest day in UK history? This pillock. <laughs>